Buenos dias. Good morning. My name is Lulu de Lagre, and I am the author and illustrator of Olinguito de la A la Z. Olinguito from A to Z. Descubriendo el bosque nublado. Unveiling the cloud forest. So, what I want is actually to share with you what I've learned what I was doing the research, writing and illustrating this book. I plan to do this series of videos in English and in Spanish. The first one will be in English, the second one in Spanish. So, today, we are trying to learn as much as we can of the ecosystem of the cloud forest. Not any ecosystem, mind you. This ecosystem you find in mountain ranges, in tropical mountain ranges. So, one thing that I learn most scientists and naturalists usually have is a science journal. A science journal can be upside down, can be any notebook like this. So I encourage you to have one and a pencil and an eraser. All important things when you go into the field and we will later on at the end of the series. So, Olinguito de la A la Z. Olinguito from A to Z. Unveiling the cloud forest. The cloud forest. Come, join a zoologist from Washington, D.C. as he searches for the elusive Olinguito in a cloud forest. Hmm, cloud forest. Why do you think it's called a cloud forest? Ah, exactly. It has clouds, clouds, and mist, and humidity, lots of water in the air, fog, hmm, cloud forest. Do you think that cloud forests are found very close to the ground and sea level? found high up in the mountains. Ha, that's right, you got it. I knew some of you would have the answer. They are high up in the mountain range. And we are going to high, high up in the Andes, blooms a brilliant forest embroidered in bromeliads. And this is where I want to tell you something. There is something about cloud forests that you need to know. This is what I learned. Cloud forests have three main important characteristics. That is, yes, the first one you guessed, many clouds, fog, mist, in tropical mountains. The other is, did you hear the word bromeliads? Yes, let's look, go back into the book. Yes, yes. B blooms a brilliant forest embroidered with bromeliads. Bromeliad, it's a kind of plant, an epiphyte. Huh, that's an interesting word, 
epiphyte. So far, we have actually two very interesting terms. Cloud forest, epiphyte. Epiphyte is an air plant. Bromeliads, it's a kind of earth plant. That means there are plants that crush themselves onto trees, and feed themselves from particles in the air, particles that are brought about by humidity. So you find bromeliads, you find ferns, you find you find mosses like oh let me show you the kind of moss that you actually can find in the cloud forest. Moss like this, yeah. Hanging from every single branch or most branches of the trees. So all those are epiphytes, air plants. Write it up, research more. Let's listen to another page of the book. Come join a zoologist from Washington, D.C as he searches for the elusive Olingito in a cloud forest. We discuss cloud forest. Olingito, elusive. Elusive means hard to find. Olingito, Olingito, Olingito. We'll find out what an Olingito is, sure enough, in a little bit. Home to crab and snail, hummingbird and cotton tail, and a... And a dozing Olingito, dreaming the day away. And a dozing Olingito, Dreaming the day away. A, B, C, D. I'll see you next time when we discuss a little bit more about the cloud forest and the amazing animals and plants that coexist. That means that they live with the Olingito, high up in that tropical mountain range in the Andes, the Andes of Ecuador. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.